close your eyes and watch your breath. Think of the word butto, but as you breathe in, to breathing out. Butto means awake. Notice where you feel the breath. Notice if the breath is comfortable. If it's not comfortable, you can change the rhythm. Make it shorter or longer, deeper, more shallow. Try to find a sense of well-being right here with the breath. As for any other thoughts that are going to pull you away from the breath, you can just let them go right now. Trying to develop some good qualities in the mind, like mindfulness, the ability to keep something in mind, and alertness, watching what you're doing. And then ardency, the desire to do this really well. Because your happiness is going to depend on getting the mind trained. If the mind's not trained, you can have all kinds of good things in life and you can abuse them. If it is trained, even with difficult situations, the mind is okay. So this is your guarantee of your happiness. We come here for the New Year blessing. You have to remember that the best blessings are the ones you give to yourself. And the monks, every time they chant, say, I eat one no so come belong. Long life, beauty, happiness, and strength. Where do those things come from? They're not going to come from the monk saying the words. They're going to come from the fact that you actually develop the causes for them in your own actions. So how does, what does long life come from? It comes from not killing things, not abusing other people, not abusing other animals. Not cutting off their life faculty. If you cut off theirs, yours is going to get caught off too. As for beauty, as the Buddha said, that when you show your anger, no matter how pretty you are in the mirror, it's not going to look good. So you try to keep your anger under wraps. It may be there in the mind, and you may decide that you don't like what's happening outside, but you don't have to show it in your face. That way you've got the advantage. Nobody else knows where your anger is. If they know where your anger is, they can push your buttons. And you don't present a good facade to the world. Now you can say, well, why, why worry about the facade? Well, as I said, it's a facade is something you can have to hide behind sometimes. And when you don't show your anger, then you can start looking into the mind and say, well, why do I give in to the anger anyhow inside the mind? That way you can dig, dig a little bit deeper and have a beautiful mind. In other words, a mind that doesn't let anger overcome it. If something bad comes up in life, you decide, okay, what should be done? Instead of letting your anger get in the way, and when you, can't, when you get angry, you can't think straight. And you end up doing things that you later regret. And as the Buddha said, sometimes you have to remember that when you're acting on your anger, you do things that your enemies like to see you do. You make stupid mistakes. So for the sake of beauty, you want to keep your anger under wraps and start rooting it out inside whenever it shows up inside. As for happiness, well, here's the meditation. Give yourself a sense of well-being as you sit here. You don't have to depend on anything else outside. You especially don't have to depend on your little screens. It's gotten to the point where these are appendages almost. And some people would be more willing to give up their hands and their feet than they would be willing to give up their little screens. But you have to remember, true happiness to, is, if you want to rely on it, it has to be something that doesn't depend on things outside. This is why we have the meditation. You can breathe with a sense of well-being, have a sense of ease, and then you let it spread through the body. It gives you a more solid, more reliable more harmless form of happiness and well-being that you can find with things outside. So here again, it depends on your actions. And finally, strength. The Buddha lists five strengths altogether, but they start with conviction. The conviction that your actions really do make a difference. This way you don't get apathetic. And so you start looking into what you're doing and saying and thinking and trying to do it well. This is the motivation for that atapa, that quality of persistence of trying to do this well. When you have these activities, then you give yourself a blessing. Long life, beauty, happiness, strength, every day, every day. And that, the Buddha said, is an auspicious day. And an auspicious year is made up of auspicious days like this, when you remember that the causes for your happiness come from within, and you're going to develop them within. That's the best blessing you can find. <laughs>